I'm being far too professional. Greetings. Coffee. Sunday lunch. Happy coffee yeah. to you. Happy podcast to all of you out there. We've got a special episode this week. Special in what way, Tim? All live. No edits. No cuts. Oh. <laughs> 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 so clearly I'm, I'm going to deliberately cut something in there but yeah anyway yeah. now then Lee before we go any further well, me and you have both uh, sold advertised in magazines for years have you seen this? you, you use the word sold very loosely Tim thank you <laughs> uh, Trafford <laughs> Business Comment now yeah. it's a magazine blah 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 blah. people sell ads in it but you know knowing seen, what the reputation yeah. of sales people and media people is yeah. would you like to know who are the main people selling this and the names <laughs> in big, big letters please do Paul Mirage and John Cheatham. <laughs> Mirage and Cheatham. Perfect. Yeah. Terry Smoke and Harry... <laughs> Harry... Harry Mirrors. Harry Mirrors. <laughs> Smoke and Mirrors, everyone. Well done. Mm. Now then, um, also, before we go any further, it's, uh, it's plug, plug time on the podcast. Yes. Buy this book, everyone. It's very funny. What's it called, Lee? Why Men Skim Stones. Yes, it's by an excellent young author called Chris Windle. <laughs> Was that a test of my reading ability? Do you think, <laughs> well, there's some five-letter words in there. It might struggle in those. Now, these are tips for the modern man. Yes. Uh, questioning experts, advice, pessimism. I've not read any of this. List making. <laughs> not List many. making is good. <laughs> no, knowing the answer to everything. <laughs> Juggling. Joining secret societies. <laughs> did, you, did you write the section on knowing the answer to everything, Tim? Is that... <laughs> Clearly. Anyway, it's out now. Why Men Skim Stones by Chris Windle. Yes. Buy it now. Yes. The ladies will learn a lot from it, Timmy. What's in the news today? While we're plugging things, yes. I'm going to plug my Edinburgh special show, knowing full well that most of you won't want to watch a full 10 minutes of this. <laughs> Tim, know the puts at the end. I'm yeah. getting it in now. Get Friday in, the 31st. So, Edinburgh Fringe special, come along. Where is it, Lee? Would you like to? It's at Hennigan's. Microphone. Am I doing that? Yes. Microphone. Yeah. It's at Hennigan's on the 31st. Bolton Comedy Club. It'll be superb. A little bit different. You'll enjoy it. Three great acts, etc. It will be good. All the Edinburgh preview shows are always fantastic, oh. you know. So get along to Hennigan's. Yes. On what the date of what month now? Friday the 31st. Not far away. Friday the 31st of July. Yes, yes. What's been in the news, Lee? Well, the thing that caught my attention, it was a couple of weeks ago when I thought we were going to do this, was the uh, Caitlyn Jenner uh, story. It had a sex change won an award in LA for being very brave about it, formerly Bruce Jenner. So I've read a few comments, I thought, well, I don't know anything about this Bruce Jenner. <clears throat> Looked him up, he was a gold medal winner for the USA. I didn't realise this. Never. I didn't realise this. Um, I looked it up, 1976, he won a gold medal for the USA in the decathlon. So, oh. he is a decathlete. Oh, <laughs> see? No, that's not bad. <laughs> it's true. For you. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what was in the news. Oh. This very morning, Lee, yeah. as I scan the news websites from the luxury of my uh, opulent bed, um, these you know these guys a couple of weeks ago that worked for Wigan Council, and they, but they, they were filming a, an on-the-job documentary kind of thing, yeah. and they were amazed when the bosses got upset when they clocked off early to go and play darts in the pub. <laughs> you think, you're being filmed. <laughs> What's wrong, wrong with you? you? Which yeah. ties into this morning's story yeah. about some uh, Tory peer, a senior Tory lord, who's been caught, and they filmed this deliberately, it wasn't a secret camera, with hookers, cocaine, <laughs> drugs and prostitutes. He's a Tory peer. Let's film it. What could possibly go wrong? Did he claim it on his expenses? That's what <laughs> people get upset about. Be, that would be the... <laughs> absolutely. Saying to the hooker, can I have a receipt for that? <laughs> <laughs> but you think, when are people going to stop filming themselves doing embarrassing things and damage themselves <laughs> professionally, Lee? When will they learn? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> the, um, the, the Bin Men story, there was a great piece on the Howard and Bradshaw directory. Someone's got CCTV footage. And uh, the guy comes, collects the bins, yeah. just, and he's looking around like this, turns around, the bin has flipped into the back of the thing. Oh. Hundreds and hundreds of comments on Howard oh. and Bradshaw. And I'll come back oh. to the Howard Excellent. and Bradshaw. Well, when you've got something funny to add to oh, that, we'll, yes. we'll cut yeah. that in. <laughs> <laughs> you know, these Wigan, Wigan workers, right? There's yeah. a, I know it's probably apocryphal now, but they've actually started doing it on Wigan pie vans. You know, Greg's, the pasties and all that. No pies are left in this van yeah, overnight. Yeah, overnight. Well, they have the same at Calais now with lorries. No <laughs> migrants are in this van overnight, you know <laughs> Because people would want that, wouldn't they? Yeah, of course they break in for it, wouldn't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anything else, Lee? Yeah, in the news, uh, the other story that caught my attention was somebody died in the funeral. They decided they wanted a fancy dress. Oh. Uh, class, uh, class act. Yeah, and I just thought, great idea. And in a picture of Darth Vader at the front of the first hearst, walking them in, probably with the music dun, 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 in the background. Right. Uh, and then another guy in the full Beetlejuice outfit. Oh. Right, full Beetlejuice outfit. And the, but then it showed a picture of him in the church... He was the only one in fancy dress. 
Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's sat there. But everybody else has thought, yeah. I'm being respectful. I'm uh, wearing black and my black uh, tie. I'm doing thing, and he's sat there. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're throwing Darth Vader there. There's a yeah. storm here ah, in the evening news. Little stormtrooping. Stormtroopers, you know, Daleks or what have you. And then underneath, completely unrelated story, police forces blasted on way to meltdown. <laughs> what? By these two guys. <laughs> stormtroopers. It could have been the Death Star, Timmy. Could, could have been, been the Death Star blasting them down. Anything else in this one? But well, the vote union news has got all sorts. Here we go. Uh, oh, here we go. Web Company wins Satisfaction Award. Now then, can you think of another... Another example of the web bringing satisfaction, Lee. No, I can't think of anything, Timmy. Although I did bring my holiday on the web, if that's what you're referring to. Are you satisfied? Are you setting me up, Timmy? (laughs) I think you are. Well, I love the variety of local news and local activity for parishioners and town council people alike. That's right, town council people. (laughs) Anyway, this is the uncut version, Lee. Uh, Bolton Lodge. This is this is nice. Bolton Lodge of the Theosophical. Society. I couldn't say that. The to me. Theosophical Society. <laughs> we'll meet next week when the guest speaker will be Scott Olton, who is touring from America uh, with his talk entitled Alchemy, the Great Work of Spiritual Transformation. Now, isn't that lovely? It is. Next item in this uh, smorgasbord of local news Bath Found in Road. <laughs> Tin Bath Found in Road. <laughs> Police are mystified. <laughs> From spiritual transformation to <laughs> bath in road. If there was somebody in the bath in the road, that would have been worth reporting. Now that's news. Yeah. Man bites dog. That's mm. it. Uh, but he wasn't. He's not my dog. Sorry. Uh, I just... <laughs> uh, right. In the evening news, I keep saying evening news because I refuse to change. As you know, Lee, I don't like change. You know, cyan, etc., etc. Et et <laughs> you say cyan? I did. It's a lovely colour this time of year. <laughs> right. A house. Hang on. There was a house in Halliwell, which is a division of... A division? A department of Bolton. <laughs> the Bolton Department of Halliwell. I like to think it was devised, Timmy. <laughs> uh, because they, somebody was growing a cannabis... Uh, they had a cannabis farm in the house, and then they set fire to it, and there was smoke everywhere. An eagle-eyed reader spotted what she thinks looks like a ghost in the window of the cannabis house. <laughs> Steph Kay from Bromley Cross. It really looks like the ghost of a woman. Strange. Well, you've just been eye on cannabis, you'll see. <laughs> That's that. <laughs> Another reader said... I can't see the woman or the face, but I can see a giant parrot. <laughs> Lol. I wonder what the firemen were like, putting that fire out. They must have been just going like, yeah, we'll put it out uh, a bit later. <laughs> they could have put it out a lot quicker, I think, couldn't they? In a freak accident at the Body Beautiful shop on Clegg's Lane in Little Hulton, another department of the Greater <laughs> Bolton area, Sharon Palmer collapsed and fell. Anyway, this woman collapsed and fell. She only went into our direction. She fell, collapsed on a mirror... On the corner of a table, the mirror smashed into her head before impaling the side of her face on an umbrella. <laughs> her injuries looked horrendous, said the salon boss, Jane Blood. No way. Way. <laughs> and she's in a beauty salon. I'm sure they could have just patched her up and sent her back well, out exactly. again. Put a bit of makeup on. Back to Beetlejuice again. <laughs> but, I mean, seven years bad luck, Tim. As soon as oh, she yeah. smashed into the mirror, she must have realised. <laughs> what else can go wrong? Oh, here's the umbrella now. <laughs> Speaking of things going wrong, yes. uh, there was a story, uh, a national story. A poor woman from London in Spain did a bungee jump. Oh, this is terrible. I know. I can't I know. believe you're bringing this. Di- died, hit the ground. I'm adopting my sanctimonious, judgmental Good, good, pose. good. Women, don't lie about your weight. That's all I'm just going to say on this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's shocking. Uh, this was in the news just today. I went to Fox News, so I thought there's going to be something on Fox News. Naked tree huggers mount eucalyptus tree. Now, where do we begin with this? First of all, why? What's going on? What the hell? But secondly, eucalyptus is famous for being the favourite food of the Egyptians. Uh, koalas, koalas, <laughs> koala bears. They're not bears, but everybody says koala bears. The eucalyptus. Koalas are also famous for having in the system thrush, severe, horrible yeah. thrush. And being stoned off the eucalyptus. And being stoned, well. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you mean imagine explaining that when you get home, you've been on a, n- naked on a eucalyptus tree, you go on with thrush. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> well, you're not going to believe this. <laughs> Next week, cacti. Cacti. <laughs> oh, today's news as well. The triumph of Tim Nice But Dim. Have you heard about this? Well. Middle class yeah. parents reporting that posh but stupid children end up earning more than the poor but gifted. Now, I'm not posh, but I am stupid. <laughs> Where does that leave me, Lee? <laughs> Poor up to me. I have to, I have to read that. That's how stupid I am. <laughs> right, come on, Lee. What else? Uh, oh, by the way, I should just say, well, this is not only a live and unedited yeah. broadcast, but we're, we, we, we do this and then Lee runs me to the pub. I yes. lock up the house, we go to the pub, it's great. Uh, but the more cynical observer might think, Lee, that I only do this to get a free lift to the pub. <laughs> no way, Tim. No way. <laughs> anyway, 
Um, what have you got? No. Ha- ha- Harwood and Bradshaw uh, directory. Uh, Harwood if, and Bradshaw directory. If they're not kicking off about speeding cameras, it's dog poo. They had a story on, and it actually made the national press because it was grammatically incorrect, strapped up near Howard Meadows, and then somebody else has put it, and I think it's an interesting point for debating. Well, at least dogs, most of it gets cleaned up by the owners, maybe three quarters of it, you have a quarter of bad owners. What about the cats? Running well, around, pooing everywhere. Who's free, picking that up? They're free spirits. Yes. Free spirits. Did you say there was a grammatical error in the dog poo story? Yes, yeah, so, it made the national press. An inappropriate use of the colon. Ah, well done, See, Tim. We do it on you the fly. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoon in private eye, everyone. Uh, this guy having a meal with his missus. Uh, <laughs> and he says, This is disgusting. It tastes like something my mother used to make. <laughs> Which brought me on to when you see a lot of past these pubs, a very proud sign saying, Home cooked food yeah. served daily. Well, I can get that at home. That's I right. don't go out for home cook. I want a professional to cook my tea. And what home was it in? I mean, it could have been for the criminally tasteless. I know. I know pe- <laughs> that's you. I know people's home. Right, well, I've run out of my notes. Let's just wing it, Lee. How are we doing? Well, can I just also say, I mean, I'm, I might try and somehow get this in my, uh, my, my stand-up routine, but I realised over the weekend, as my wife was overreacting to something... That's not like Eileen. The worst thing, that, not the worst thing, but if you point out to somebody who is overreacting, that they are overreacting... Oh, it sends them through the roof. They never seem to take it well. <laughs> <laughs> try, try the classic words. Yeah. You need to calm down. That's the other one. Oh, That's the other one. Guard up. <laughs> Coming in. Uh, anyway, I enjoyed doing this. I'm going to do it again. Audio yes. map one. Audio map two. And was that, is that us done? Unedited version. Well, have you got any more? That was it. Well, Lee, have you got anything else to publicise? <laughs> All right. Thank Let's you, everyone. <laughs> Happy Sunday lunch. See you down at the No Name. Cheers, Johnny. Pull those pints. Yes. See you, Lee. Thanks for demonstrating the pulling of pints as well. Yeah. <laughs>